As you can see, I am still smiling, still smiling. Lacazette is an Arsenal player. I can't wait to see this guy start scoring goals for us. Absolutely buzzing, top, top striker. So yeah, really, really happy. Um, obviously add that to Kolasinac, top left back, uh, better than Monreal, better than Gibbs. So yeah, two great signings so far. Um, bit concerned though, and before anyone starts thinking I'm being negative, I'm not being negative, I am ultra positive for a change. It's about time I had something positive to speak about, so yeah, I'm quite happy at the minute. But, that being said, I do want to come on to a few things, and um, I am a little bit worried about these. We've still got Gibbs, we've still got Jenkinson, Jack Wilshere, Giroud, Walcott, um, anyone else I've missed, there's a few others that I'd let go. Um, they're all on big, big money, these players, and they ain't really done nothing for us. So I'm a little bit concerned that they're still here. Callum Chambers, another one. Is he staying? We paid a lot of money for that guy. 16 million quid we paid for him, and he ain't really done nothing. So, you know, if it was me, I'd cash in on every single one of them. Um, but that being said, nobody's bid for him. Um, obviously, Marseille and West Ham are flirting with Giroud, but... That's pretty much all it is. There's been no solid concrete bids from what we gather. So, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned, really. Um, need to get rid of these before, and then go out and get a massive signing again. And, you know, I'm looking at Mares. I'm looking at Lamar. You know, we, we need another midfielder, central midfielder, in my opinion. Um, just to shore up midfield, somebody to sit next to Granite Xhaka, because I don't think Aaron Ramsey's good enough. Um... That's just my opinion. Yes, he had a good back end of the season, the last six, seven games, but consistently over a full season, he's never done it in nine seasons. And he has been in nine seasons. Um, he gets a pass, in my opinion, because he scored two winners in cup finals. So, so yeah, I'm a little bit concerned still, but if we, uh, if we do what's required, and so far we are doing that, in terms of Lacazette and Kolasinac, um, changed a few backroom staff, Obviously, the mad, nutty German is back on side now. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad he's back as a coach. I love Jens Lehmann as a player. I thought he was a fantastic goalkeeper. Absolutely crackers. Didn't give a shit about hotting up any of his teammates. So, yeah, it's, it's positive vibes at the minute. But, you know, that being said, it's still a little bit, mm, you know, we've got to get rid of some of this shit. And then, obviously, if you add on top of that the fact that the contract saga is still running with Alexis Sanchez and Mesut Ozil. Um, you know, yes, I'm buzzing right now, but if Alexis Sanchez leaves this football club, I think we will be worse off um, than we were before. So, you know, it's great Lacazette's here, but he isn't an Alexis Sanchez, although they are different types of players, obviously. But, but yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what players you think are go. Um, leave your comments down below. Um, thanks for all the love on the recent videos as well. Appreciate it. Do try and answer all of you. Um, obviously, we're working and my daughter and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I can't always answer. So, so yeah, thanks very much. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I want to give a, a special mention to a friend of mine on Twitter. Um, he's got a channel that is so undersubscribed. It is unbelievable. His name's Bradley Johnson. Um, that's his Twitter handle, at Bradley Johnson, I believe. Um, but his YouTube channel is the Arsenal Telegraph. That guy's edits are unbelievable, and he's got less than 100 subscribers. So if you want to, go and check his videos out. And if you want to subscribe to his channel, feel free as well.